The escalation of attacks on United States forces in Iraq and Syria has been a rising concern in recent years. The situation reached a new level of intensity in late 2023, with a total of 13 attacks reported by the Pentagon within a single week. This marked an alarming increase in aggression from Iran-backed groups, coinciding with the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. Our journey through this escalation begins in early March of 2021. Rockets hit an Iraqi base hosting U.S. troops, mere days after President Biden ordered airstrikes in Syria. This retaliatory action was in response to an attack on a U.S.-led coalition base in Erbil, which resulted in the death of a foreign contractor. The Pentagon reported that one fighter from an Iranian-backed militia was killed in these strikes. The attacks seemed to mirror previous incidents where Iran-backed militias targeted U.S. forces in Iraq. Awi, fast forward to September of the same year. It emerged that there was an attempt to interfere with Pentagon reporting on U.S. military injuries following an Iranian missile attack. This came after the killing of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani. Despite initial claims, there were significant injuries in the subsequent missile attack. In September 2023, Iranian naval forces pointed a laser at a U.S. Marine Corps attack helicopter, marking a dangerous escalation in tensions. Conducting routine operations in international airspace above the Arabian Gulf, the helicopter was not damaged and no injuries were reported. However, this incident was not an isolated one, as Iranian ships had previously targeted U.S. military aircraft with lasers. The Pentagon's reports in October 2023 painted a grim picture. Ten attacks in Iraq and three in Syria targeted U.S. forces, all within a single week. The perpetrators were identified as being supported by Iran, exploiting the situation to escalate tensions. Despite these attacks, the U.S. has made it clear that the focus remains on deterrence rather than expanding the conflict. In summary, the escalation of attacks on U.S. forces in Iraq and Syria has seen a significant rise, particularly in late 2023. These attacks, perpetrated by Iran-backed groups, have coincided with other geopolitical events such as the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. Despite these challenges, the U.S. continues to focus on deterrence and defense, rather than escalating the conflict further. The situation remains tense, and the world watches closely as events continue to unfold.